So I tend to think of life in terms of movie clips or, or tweetable moments. Somehow I've convinced myself they last longer that way. And my wife proved me wrong when she referred to my phone as my black wife. Now, I thought it was funny. I mean, we, we both giggled. Now, single men take notes. Now, I'm no expert, but I don't think she was kidding. She talked about some other stuff, which I really don't remember. I was too busy in my head composing a tweet where I would quote her with some sort of clever hashtag about marriage and about how much I love her to be paying attention to her at that moment. I think what snapped me back in was the silence, which indicated I was supposed to have some sort of response to whatever she was talking about. I told my father that story in hopes to get a little sympathy, my father. Civil rights and Vietnam War vet, hopelessly charming on his fourth marriage, father. And rather than the customary nod that men give each other when they understand, he proceeded to tell me why he failed as my mother's husband. He said it was the same reason half of his platoon died in Vietnam, and the same reason you are deathly afraid of your daughter becoming a teenager's son. You can't hear past the explosions, either the ones that already happened or the ones you anticipate see the former paralyzes, living life in a rear view mirror, driving full speed across traffic into the center divider, so shell-shocked, you too stupid to duck when bullets are flying, or the latter, your life a game of capture the flag, so focused on the finish line, you stepped right on a landmine, so ready to attack the day, frustrated because you can't find your keys, focused on the meetings you finna miss and the traffic you finna sit in to realize you've been holding your keys the whole time. Slow down. You've been hypnotized by the possibility. Son, I couldn't hear past the bombs. And the first one didn't kill me, and the second one ain't even happened, yet it ended our family. He told me a love story of a woman born before him. He said, but I knew her from before, and at the moment of conception, there was an eternal connection. And although I didn't know it then, I'd fight for her affection. It's this war we've been waging since day one of creation. And only when you lose her do you learn to appreciate her. Like even when I'm with her, I'm itching to get rid of her. And she only gives you one shot. Blow it and she's gone. And I took advantage of her. That's why I'm telling you this, son, you can't rush her or slow her down. You better keep her on your side. She will slip through your fingers like sand. Her name is Time. And she told me a secret. She said multitasking is a myth. You ain't doing anything good, just everything awful. <laughs> and she begged me to stop stretching her thin and stuffing her full and stop being so concerned with the old her and future her, but love her now. Her presence is God's present and you should be that huh, present. So I guess you could say, well, I guess I can say I've been through a divorce now. Me and my phone are no longer married. I think I'm ready to be here now.